pills has made a big difference for 10-year-old Alyssa. Alyssa has an autoimmune disorder and has to take about 10 different medications every day. For years, her days were planned according to the requirements of bottled meds. With the liquid, we couldn't really go on trips that much and sleepovers. And we would have to be at the house at a certain time. Her day was quite regimented. We weren't, oh, you know, we couldn't go on longer trips. <clears throat> a lot of the medication had to be kept cool. So if we went out in the summertime, then we'd have to come back and make sure that she got her meds at specific times throughout the day. Um, that's not the case anymore. A few years ago, Alyssa participated in an ongoing study aimed at developing successful methods of swallowing pills for children. The study, led by U of C researcher Bonnie Kaplan, concludes that changing the tilt of your head when swallowing a pill can make all the difference when it comes to actually getting it down. The children were trained using candy. They were encouraged to try a variety of head positions and practice the different tilts for two weeks. I'm going to put the Tic Tac at the back of my tongue and then I'm gonna take a little bit of water and then I'm going to shake my head up and then I'm going to swallow it. In our last study with 33 children who had illnesses, uh, we were 100% successful teaching them to swallow their medication in two weeks. If a child with an acute or chronic illness such as cancer or arthritis can't take pills, well, as you can imagine, that becomes a huge problem. Some medications are very difficult to turn into liquid form, or they just plain taste terrible. The liquid forms are often uh, harder to come by, more expensive, um, expire, they have a very short shelf life, and it becomes quite a burden on a family if a child cannot swallow pills. And put it at the back of your tongue. Alyssa's 12-year-old brother, Jared, was recently diagnosed with juvenile arthritis and has to take a variety of medications on a regular basis. He too struggled with swallowing pills. That is, until his little sister stepped in with a few learned tips. So now they have competitions on who takes the biggest pills and stuff like that. So, Alyssa understands taking medications on a regular basis is just part of her reality. But she's sure glad it's not the awful bottled version. It tastes gross. Shiba Jahansha, Shaw TV, Calgary.